Simon says, subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello everyone. Welcome to a new tutorial from Simon Says It. In this video, I will show you how to auto fit data in Excel cells. In Microsoft Excel, there's a default row height and column width for all cells. If you enter any text that is larger than a cell size, it will spill out. This is considered bad formatting and is unpleasant to work with. To rectify this, you can use the Excel Auto Fit feature. There are three ways to use Auto Fit in Excel. You can use the mouse, the Excel ribbon menu, or directly use keyboard shortcuts to save time. Let us see them one after the other. First, let us see how to auto fit using the mouse. To auto fit the column size of one column, just hover the mouse over the right border of the column. The double headed arrow pointer will appear. Now, double click on the column border to expand it. If you want to apply the auto fit feature to multiple columns or rows, select all of them first. Now, double click on any of the row or column borders inside the selection. Remember, you can auto fit rows, columns, or both at the same time, depending on your needs. Another easy way to auto fit data is by using Excel ribbons. First, select the relevant columns and click on the auto fit column width button under the format drop down menu. The format drop down menu is located in the cells group of the home tab. To auto fit row height, Select the relevant rows and click on the Auto Fit Row Height button under the Format drop down menu. Using the keyboard shortcut keys is relatively the easiest method to auto fit Excel cells. First, select the data either by holding the Control key or the Shift key. Next, hit the Alt key. This opens the hotkeys layout. Now, press H. This will select and open the Home tab in the ribbon. Then hit O. This will select and open the format menu. Now, to auto fit column width, use I. In the same way, auto fit row height using the same way by pressing the keys Alt, H, O, and A. That is all, everyone. In this video, we saw how to auto fit cells, rows, and columns. Thank you. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.